and Noah's just starting to come forward and land those wing and left shots. If he gets close enough, he's going to start banging to the body. Pop the hip. Oh, God. And, and, and crack. Oh, God. This is Zachary Carter TV. We just watched the Canelo Charlo fight. And in honor of that win, I'm here to give you three techniques that Canelo uses to beat his opponents. Tactic number one constant forward pressure. To like drive Canelo back and needs to touch him and it needs to hurt him and make him pay. Because right now Canelo is just moving in with impunity. He is not worried about what is coming back. The goal is to drive my opponent to the ropes and beat him up from there. This is how Canelo does it. He likes to walk his opponents down. In order to walk your opponent down, you gotta be good at cutting off the ring. This is how Canelo cuts off the ring and walks his man down. So if my opponent steps off to my right, I'm gonna step off with my right foot in order to cut him off. Now if my opponent steps off to my left, then I'm gonna use my left foot to cut him off. He cuts the ring off with lateral movements, but in order to get on the line, he has to move forward. But Canelo just doesn't walk forward. He has to stay safe when he walks on the line. He's coming forward, moving his head. He's being aggressive and being defensive at the same time. He has to coordinate his high guard with his footwork to move forward. He uses a specific technique that we call the Cuban. We're gonna get out the ring and show you how to do it. First, I'm gonna show you the hand and feet coordination drill. My coach calls this the Cuban drill. We're gonna walk and block at the same time. I'm just gonna walk and swing my arms normally. Now we're gonna do it as if we're in a real boxing match. It's the same concept, but we're just gonna stay in our stands. Now this is how Canelo used the Cuban to walk his man down. He's backing up the bigger man, but yeah. And I agree with that. I'll always ask. The people watching are, are wondering why Kovalev is early on, he's landed some jabs at the cleaner. Oh. Constant forward pressure. And technique number two is his ferocious leading left hooks to the body. Surprise when Eddie Reynoso and Canelo said that we're going to... From Saunders. Now let me show you how it's done. You priming the hook with your head, all right? That's what you prime the hook, but that's not how, you, how it's done. You're priming the hook with your hips. So you, so this is what you're doing. You're priming the hook with your head, and then you're throwing. It's not a bad hook, it's not a bad hook, but you must prime the hook with your hips. So you walk the person down, and boom, you pop the hip. Oh God. And, and, and crack it. Oh God. You wanna do that. Canelo looking for. There it is, you see? You see the difference? Yeah. to close the distance, start breaking the distance down. Now these are heavy blocks. The last technique or tactic we're gonna talk about is how Canelo sets up his sweeping right hand. Heavy blows from Canelo. He's putting Sometimes he throw it straight, sometimes he throw a hook. The punch he dropped Charlo with was a straight right hand. Again, there's hand and footwork coordination, you gotta understand. We call this the touch, touch, go. Also in the United Kingdom, good morning to you. Time Canelo when he moves in. I have to break this technique down in reverse. We're gonna start with the skate. Be happy to just back him up like that. Control the distance and land some good shots. So let me show you what the skate is. Major pressure. Generally, Canelo would touch, touch, skate, or he'll touch once and then skate. Body or head. Canelo's looking for the big shot. There you go, the big heavy shot.
Those are just three techniques or tactics that Canelo uses to beat up his opponents. I wish I could do them as good as Canelo, but I'll be practicing them and so should you. I'm Zachary Carter from Zachary Carter TV. Please subscribe to the channel.